What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, I wanna to show you something quite impressive, namely Gen2, the next step forward in generative AI, a tool that allows you to do text to video and image to video generation. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to look at Gen2 in this video today. And we all know about Stable Diffusion, we all know about Midjourney, we all know about Dolly, these generative AIs, these image generation models that allow us to do text to image generation, image to image generation, image in painting and stuff like that. And Gen2 now is the first step into the direction of video generation. So text to video generation, image to video generation, stuff like that. And the results actually look like videos, not like some Stable Diffusion D forum effect but like actual videos. So all you have to do to try Gen2 yourself for free is you have to go to research.runwayml.com slash Gen2. It's free, you don't have to provide a credit card, you don't have to provide a phone number, you can just log in with your Google account or with your email. Uh, and once you're in Runway, you can see this dashboard here, you can see that they have quite a lot of AI tools, remove background, text to image, image to image, but they also have this Gen2 tool here, text image to video, or up here, text to video, image to video. And this is actually this new capability for video generation. And when we click on text to video, for example, uh, I can just provide a prompt, for example, storm, or maybe a rainy storm in a rainforest, and then maybe comma, photo, realistic details or something like that. Here I can then also specify a specific seat if I want to. Uh, and then you have also some premium features like upscaling and removing the watermark, but I can just uh, get a free preview here now, meaning I can see some of the frames of this resulting image. And if I like it, I can generate it. So this looks like a rainforest storm. I can just click on generate and this is then going to generate a video based on my text prompt. And the same thing works with an image, so I can provide an image with a prompt, so then it will do the text to video generation, but it will take an image as inspiration. And I can also do just pure image to video, which means I take an image, and it's going to turn that particular image into a video. And this is super impressive. So uh, I think it says up here how long it takes, 89 seconds left, I'm going to skip that so that we don't have to just wait for the result here but it's generating the video and when we have the result, I'm going to uh, continue recording here. All right, so the video has been generated. I can now click on play to see what it looks like. And you can see this is an actual video of rain in a rainforest or, I mean, it's not really a storm, but it's rain in a rainforest. And yes, it doesn't look exactly perfect. Uh, it looks like it's generated. It doesn't look like a realistic, a video of a rainforest, but it is much better than what we had up until now. And you can see here, I can rate the result uh, to improve the model. I can say it's very, very good. I can say it's horrible. I can say it's decent. I would say it's three stars because it doesn't look super realistic. Um, and you can also specify what exactly wasn't perfect. So we can say here, for example, render quality didn't match the prompt. Uh, yeah, let's say this is what I criticize about that. Now, if you happen to like this a lot and you wanna see more of it, you can also extend here uh, by four seconds. So I can basically say extend four seconds and then it's going to generate the same video, but it's going to make it twice as long because it starts with four seconds here and it then generates the same thing here for eight seconds. And once this generation is done, you can see here that we end up with an eight second video and it has some special effect in here. So you can rate this as well. Maybe I, I will give it two stars this time because uh, maybe lack of movement didn't match prompt and render quality, for example. So this is the raw text to video generation. You can also provide an image here as inspiration. So I can say here, uh, I have some images uploaded here as well, uh, or I can just go to image or where is it actually? Is it here or is it in a text field? I have, for example, rainforest here, uh, which is this image that you will see here, hopefully in a second. Uh, and I can provide a text prompt for it. So this image, yes, uh, it is not exactly the most rainforest image that you can find out there, but it's copyright free. So I wanted to use it. Uh, it's just a forest basically. And um, I can either now specify a prompt, then it will 
focus more on the prompt and it will take the image as a rough inspiration. I can also not provide a prompt, so just do image to video and then it will focus more on the image. It will basically take the image and animate it. So let's try this here again. Rainy storm in a rainforest with this image. We can click on free preview to see what happens and you will see that the preview doesn't really look like the image. It will take inspiration from it, but at the end of the day it's the prompt. So you can see this doesn't look really like the image. Maybe a little bit, but not really. Um, but yeah, I can generate this now and this takes the image as an inspiration, but it produces something that fits the prompt and not necessarily the image. I can take the image and animate the image itself by just passing the image on the image tab, which is what we're going to do after this generation. So this is what we get as a result for this one. It doesn't really look like a storm, doesn't really look like the image, but you can see it's some sort of animation. And oftentimes you will have to try multiple times. Um, you won't always get good results. It's the same as with uh, image generation models. This time I would give it uh, yeah, two again, because it doesn't look too bad, but didn't match the prompt, lack of movement, uh, and also I think didn't match the preview. So let's send this feedback here. So what I want to show you here, this is quite interesting, is image to video. So you just pass the rainforest image here, for example, or in this case, the forest image, and you generate a video based on that. Um, you cannot use a free preview here because it will use the image directly. So it's not related to a prompt. You can just generate it uh, immediately. And again, the results may differ in quality here, but basically what happens here, it, it intelligently figures out what's happening here in the image and it tries to turn it into a video. So in this case, maybe it will just um, zoom into the forest. It will maybe add some wind animation for the trees moving. If you have a person, uh, it might make that person talking. So it might turn the person into a talking video. So the person moving and doing something. Um, I also have another image that I'm going to try to upload here uh, in a second, but usually the results are not too good with this one because the next one that I want to feed in is a breakdance video. So it's an image of someone breakdancing, but usually what happens when you feed in an image like that is it doesn't turn it into a breakdancing video. It turns it into some some video that really distorts the body of that person. So it doesn't look very natural. All right, so let us take a look at the result. And this actually looks kind of fine. So we didn't specify what exactly we want to see. We didn't say we want to have a storm. We didn't say we want to have a wind uh, or we didn't say we want to have wind. So we just passed an image and it turned it into a video, which actually looks kind of kind of okay. So you're going through that forest. It seems like a drone is flying through that forest. So I would give this one actually a four star rating. Um, what can we do better next time? Maybe a little bit more movement, but it's fine. So it's quite good. Um, yeah, so let's try the breakdance example. Usually it doesn't go too well. So the image is this guy here. I hope it will be displayed here. That is the image that we're feeding into the model. And, you know, usually what, what we're expecting here is to make this guy do some moves when you turn it, uh, turn this into a video, but I think it doesn't recognize that this is a person or it kind of does, and it turns it into something quite weird. So we can try it, but I don't think that the result will look too good. So let's see what we get here. Yeah. Uh, I mean, okay. Yeah. You can see what I mean. So it does some movements, but you can see that this, his lag merges with the lack of this guy. Uh, somehow it doesn't seem natural. It is obviously generated by AI. So I would give it one star actually, uh, because of the human anatomy composition and yeah, just doesn't look too good. Uh, let's try one final thing. I got an image here of a meeting. So we have people in a meeting, that's the image. And hopefully we can make them shake hands or talk. I think this shouldn't be too difficult. This should work. Let's give it a try. All right. So it already looks like the face doesn't look too natural anymore, but let's see. Oh, okay. This, I mean, yeah, the faces look kind of scary, but yeah, they're moving hands, shaking heads or something like that. So I would give it three stars because the human anatomy looks uh, not good and there's not too much movement. But other than that, maybe the render quality was also not so good, but yeah, this is how you do 
video generation with Gen 2. You can do text to video, image to video, image and text to video. And you can see I have here 69 seconds left. Uh, you basically have a certain number of seconds that you get as a trial account and then you have to basically pay. Um, as of right now, this is not super impressive. It's not massively uh, high quality video generation, but it is a nice step into that direction because up until this point, we mainly had image generation and text generation. Now we're getting into video generation slowly. It's just nice to watch uh, this, this movement. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.